Did you know that you could put a gold head joint on the silver body of a flute? In this video, I'm going to tell you about the benefits of a gold head joint. Before I show you the flutes, I just wanted to remind you of all the awesome perks that I have for you at the Flute Center in New York. If you're flute shopping, you're going to get free shipping as well as an extended trial and an extended warranty. If you're looking at flute accessories or sheet music, you'll get free shipping on orders over $50 as well as 10% off of all sheet music. Just make sure that you use my code GINA to unlock all your perks. Making the jump from a silver flute to a gold flute can be really expensive. A lot of times adding just the gold head joint will be all that you need, and you won't need to make the jump to an all gold flute. There are actually many professionals that choose to have this combination rather than an all gold flute. At the end of the day, everybody has a different playing style, so that will determine which combination is going to be right for you. For instance, some people might choose to have a gold flute with silver piece, others might choose this option right here, Somebody else might want a solid silver flute, or a solid gold flute, or possibly even a platinum flute. Although this is technically a step up from a silver flute, a lot of people will actually keep this combination and choose not to switch to an all gold flute. One question that I've been asked is if you have to have the same maker for both the head joint and the body of the flute, or can you mix and match? Luckily, most makers are interchangeable, especially in this option when you have a silver body and a gold head joint. And that is because silver typically has a thicker tubing and gold has a thinner tubing. You, of course, always wanna try the head joint on your flute. So I would recommend getting a trial from the flute center of the gold head joints and trying it with your body just to make sure that it fits. One common problem is that the gold head joint is going to be too loose for the silver body of your flute. That's actually happening to me right now. And you have to be very careful that it doesn't accidentally fall out of the body of your flute. Today, I'm going to show you a bunch of different styles of Haynes head joints. The sound will change quite dramatically because there are different golds used and different cuts. Now for the head joint cut. That means that the maker will cut the embouchure hole shape differently. I'm sure you guessed it, this will also change the sound of the flute. And just like I said before, this is a personal preference. One is not better than the other. I want you to look very closely at the different head joint cuts. The two on the outside have the end cut head joint. The two on the inside have the P cut head joint. Although the cuts aren't super noticeable to the eye, they do make a huge difference in the sound. This is the Haynes Fusion Outside hand cut head joint. By Fusion Outside, it means that it has an alloy tube that is a 14 karat gold exterior fused to a 5% platinum and 95% silver interior tube. It also has a 14 karat gold lip plate and riser and a silver crown. This is the end cut head joint. According to the Flute Center of New York's website, the end cut head joint has a thicker riser, which adds more resistance and color to the sound without sacrificing articulation. thing about this head joint is that it has a lot of power to it and it also has a very full sound. I have another Hanes Fusion Outside hand cut head joint to show you but with a different cut. It has the same specs as the last head joint I showed you except this is a different cut head joint called the P-Cut. According to the Flute Center of New York's website, the P-Cut is the default head joint for all Hanes flutes. It offers a warm, rich, and flexible sound.
playing this head joint, I notice it has a very rich sound and it has a singing quality to it. Now I'm going to move on to the Hanes 14 karat gold hand cut head joint. It has a 14 karat rose gold tube and a 14 karat gold lip plate, riser, and crown. This is the same cut as the last head joint I played for you, which is the P cut. This one is a lot less bright and has a warmer sound than the other two head joints. The last head joint that I'm going to show you is the Hanes 19.5 gold hand cut head joint. Just as the name suggests, it has a 19.5 karat gold tube. It also has a 14 karat gold lip plate, riser, and crown. This is the end cut, which is the same cut as the first head joint that I played for you. Out of all the head joints that I tried, I would say that this one is the most similar to an all gold flute. If I were to do a blind comparison between this flute that has the silver body and the gold head joint and an all gold flute, I'm not quite sure if I would be able to tell the difference. I really don't think that you can go wrong with any of these head joints. Let me know which head joint is your favorite in the comments below. Again, the best thing to do is to request a trial. That way you can try the head joint on your silver flute. Then you can decide which type of gold you like to play on and which head joint cut you sound best with. Thank you for watching this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you again to the Flute Center of New York for sponsoring this video. I'll be back next month with another review video, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it.